Unified Union School District is a step closer to changing rules surrounding restraint and seclusion. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney is in the newsroom. What are these practices, Melissa? Darren, restraint and seclusion are practices that are permitted in the state only to be used when students put themselves or someone else in danger. HUUSD has stood out with above average of the use of these practices, and district leaders and community members alike were looking to change their policies. Last night, the Restraint and Seclusion Committee presented their changes to the board after working on this topic for a majority of the school year. They've decided inappropriate restraint and seclusion shall not be used in the district. Pone and supine restraint would be eliminated with the goal of reducing all restraints and seclusions in district schools. Now, prone and supine restraint is when a child is restrained on their back or stomach. Other examples of restraint include walking a child out of the classroom while holding their hand. A seclusion is when a student is to be isolated from others. What we're looking at is a system of keeping all students safe. This is not meant as punishment and the, none of these methods should ever be applied in a, in a way that is punishing. That um, the district has been involved all year long in some training um, on the reset process and looking at lots of different ways that situations can be handled. We're the first uh, school district changing their policy. I mean, that that is saying that is a great jumping in spot. And the committee also says they want procedures to ensure only school personnel or contracted providers who are trained in these practices doing them unless there's unforeseeable dangerous circumstances where they aren't available. Now the board will next decide to warn a vote about these changes and following that they'd vote on the changes at the May meeting with the goal of the policies implemented for the next school year. There is a bill in the Vermont House that would prohibit restraints and seclusions in publicly funded schools that currently is, sits in the House. Live in the newsroom, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 News.